So Herschel Walker, the Republican candidate for U.S. Senate in Georgia, had an interview on Fox News, and boy was it a doozy. Let's check it out in today's video. Hi, I'm Mike Greiner. I'm a lifelong Democratic activist who's concerned about the direction our country is taking. I'm also a lawyer and an academic, and I'm here to help you stand up to the BS of the MAGA crowd. So Herschel Walker is the superstar candidate for U.S. Senate who's running against Senator Raphael Warnock of Georgia. We all remember when... Senator Warnock was elected. He was elected in the special election last year, one of the closest races in the country, where he defeated superstar Republican candidate Kelly Leffler. Now, Warnock is probably one of the most impressive members of the U.S. Senate. He is, just so you know, the former pastor of the Ebenezer Baptist Church. Now, if that church sounds familiar, it should. That's the church where Martin Luther King Jr. preached. And certainly, Senator Warnock has continued in Martin Luther King's commitment to justice. As such, he's been an advocate for abortion rights and rights for LGBTQ, and he was especially active in lobbying for the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. So given his background, you could imagine the lengths that Republicans went to to try to recruit somebody they thought could beat him. And boy, did they do that. Who did they get? Former University of Georgia football star Herschel Walker. On paper, Walker looks like the ideal candidate to take on Warnock. But is he really? Let's check out this interview that he did with Fox News recently. So Labor Day's right around the corner. Midterm is about 10 weeks away right now. And one of the very closely watched races is the race for the Georgia Senate seat. And it's being viewed in some ways as a test of former President Trump's influence over his party, the GOP, and as a potential proving ground, perhaps, for Senator Raphael Warnock, who some Democrat strategists believe if he can win in Georgia, that he might be in that pool of people that would be considered in a presidential race. There's a look. This is a fairly tight race in this poll. It's about four points Okay, let me just point out here, the margin of error is three points. This is actually outside of the margin of error. Now, one thing to note is in Georgia, they do have runoff elections. So if one of the two candidates doesn't get above 50% of the vote, which of course happened in the last election, then there would be a runoff where just the top two candidates faced against each other to see who's able to get more than 50%. So as of yet, those numbers aren't exactly where we'd like to see them. But boy, I'm much happier being in the Democrats' position than the Republicans' position in this race right now. Let's check out more. Apart right now, and there's a long way to go here in election time clocks. Fox views this race as a toss-up, uh, as you see those numbers there. The challenger to the sitting Senator Warnock is Republican Herschel Walker, and he joins me now. We have invited Senator Warnock uh, to give him equal time. We have not heard back to set a date for that, but that invitation is open as well. Now, I've got to ask you, why would Raphael Warnock do an interview on Fox News? Do you really think he's going to get a fair interview there? Hmm, I wonder. Well, Mr. Walker, welcome. Always good to have you here. Thank you very much for joining us today. Hey, thank you for having me on and call me Herschel. All right, Herschel. So, um, I, you know, I want to ask you about the comment that we just played from President Biden, where he said that MAGA followers belong to this scary arm of the Republican Party and that he sees them as semi-fascist. What's your response to that? Well, my response is the same as I've been saying with Senator Warnock. They continue to bring divisive. They want to divide. They want to divide the people, even though they say they're trying to bring people together. But you can't bring people. Okay. I kind of have a hard time with this. Number one, I actually agree with President Biden's comments. I've been on the record saying that I think the Republicans are basically nothing more than a fascist personality cult blindly supporting Donald Trump, which I think we've seen a lot of evidence that that's the case recently as one Republican after another have prostrated themselves to try to defend the indefensible Donald Trump's removal of classified documents to that secure location, otherwise known as Mar-a-Lago. But in terms of dividing people, I mean, how are they dividing people? This is in contrast with Donald Trump, who literally was said to attack everybody except for Vladimir Putin and white supremacists. That's a pretty narrow constituency that he's playing to. Let's check out more. Together by calling them names. And that seemed to be what Joe Biden and Senator Warnock continue to do is to call people names. 
calling people names. Do I really need to start to talk about all the names that Donald Trump called people? Ugh. You see what they called me on MSNBC and he didn't, he didn't uh, check them on that. So uh, one of the things I think the people need to realize that those people are not what they said that they are. Senator Warnock, he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. And I think right now it's time for him to be exposed. Okay, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Hmm. Now, let's talk about that for a second in terms of people not being who they say they are. Raphael Warnock is, as I said earlier, is one of the most impressive people in the Senate. And there's never been a question about his integrity or his commitment to the issues. Herschel Walker, on the other hand, well, setting aside the fact that there are questions that he understands the issues at all, he's the guy who claimed to be a successful businessman when just last year he's being sued for $200,000 by a former client who claimed to be opposed to absentee fathers and yet was under pressure, was forced to admit that he had three children out of wedlock who he'd never supported, who claims to have worked for law enforcement, something that is absolutely not true and who has repeatedly been cited for abusive behavior to the women in his life. So who's the wolf in sheep's clothing now? Hmm, let's see. So, you know, one of the things that has been talked about in this race uh, is, is whether or not you are a strong enough candidate for this race. And, and this is from Senator Mitch McConnell and a comment he made the other day, and I want to give you a chance to respond to this. Watch this. There's a, probably a greater likelihood the House flips than the Senate. Senate races are just different. They're statewide. Um, candidate quality has a lot to do with the outcome. What was your personal reaction to that comment, Herschel? Well, my reaction to that is uh, I didn't hear my name in that comment and that the most thing that people... Yeah, he's right. That's the thing that struck me about this. Mitch McConnell didn't mention Herschel Walker at all. And yet here is Fox News playing this clip and wanting him to respond to it. What are they trying to say here? Are they, do you think that they might be saying he's that one of those not so strong candidates? Hmm. You need to realize is I didn't get in this race because of Washington, D.C. I got in this race because of people of Georgia. I saw that my family was hurting and I saw that Senator Raphael Warnock was part of that. He was bringing things that the people of Georgia do not like. Okay, let's be clear about something. This is a guy who was basically recruited by Donald Trump and the Republican Party in Washington to run for this U.S. Senate seat. After graduating from the University of Georgia, he went to play for the Dallas Cowboys. And for years, his life has been in Texas. He hasn't lived in Georgia for years. And here he is talking about how concerned he is about the people of Georgia. Well, guess who has been in Georgia for all these years? That would be Raphael Warnock. Let's keep watching. They don't want high gas prices. They don't want high groceries. They're sick and tired of the crime on the street that they need someone in Washington that's going to put a change to it, and that's Herschel Walker. So I decided to run. I'm an outsider. I'm not a politician. I don't look like one. I don't talk like one. I don't act like one because I'm not beholden to anyone. And I He's definitely not a politician. <laughs> I don't think I need to make any comments about some of the things that he said on the campaign trail, which just show the complete lack of understanding he has of policy and a lot of other stuff. He might have been a great football player, but I got to tell you, you compare him to Raphael Warnock in terms of their depth and their character, it's really not much of a competition there. Let's check out more. I think that's what the people see. That's the reason the race right now is virtually tied because they see me get out and I'm working for the people. He seemed to be working for Joe Biden. Okay, let's be clear about something. It's not virtually a tie. Right now, according to the Fox News poll that was just posted earlier, Warnock is up by four points. That's outside the margin of error. Now, that's extremely significant in a state like Georgia, which, as we know, is basically 50-50. There are a few states that right now are as closely divided as Georgia. So the fact that Warnock right now is up by that much is very significant. Let's check out more. Well, you, you have a huge following in, in Georgia, um, where you're from, and people followed your football career so closely there and uh, embraced you in a lot of ways. Um, one of the things that, from your past, during a really difficult time in your life, uh, suggestions, abuse allegations from your, from your former wife and from a few other women out there. So you had to have known that you were going to see the kind of ads that are out there right now. Do you wish that you hadn't? run given this or what's your reaction and what, what do you say to people who watch these ads and have a question about you now 
Well, I don't think they have a question about me. One thing you can see that I'm very transparent. I've been very transparent. Very transparent. He lied about how many children he has. He lied about his jobs in the past. That's transparency? People know that I've been knocked down many times, but I've gotten up. My ex-wife and I, we're the best of friends with her husband and my wife. We she got a personal protection order against him. That's the best of friends? Wow. They have done a lot of things together, and I did that to help people because uh, you can be walking around wounded uh, mentally. But one of the things I want you to know is as long as you seek help, there's people out there that can help you. But people want to demonize that. I'm going to be a champion for mental health. I will always be a champion for mental health. And that's the way I did it. But people see where I'm at today. Where I'm at today is I'm here to help people. I'm here to help Georgians because Georgia needs someone to go to Washington to represent them honestly, not to be someone that say this and do something different. Senator Warnock went to Washington, forgot about the people of Georgia. Well, I'm for the Georgia people, and I'm going to fight for the Georgia people as he fight for the elite in Washington and he fight for Joe Biden. Yep. Fights for the elite in Washington? He's been fighting for health care for people and for voting rights. That's fighting for the elites? So when we, when we uh, covered the Georgia runoff race, um, the president was there with uh, Kelly Leffler and, and David Perdue, supporting both of them. Uh, that didn't work out. The GOP lost the control of the Senate, obviously. Let me just be clear. The president that they're talking about there is Donald Trump. And she's quite right. Those races didn't work out for them. The Democrats won both races, and that's what gave control of the Senate to the Democrats. Let's keep watching. You're in one of the most important races for your party in this country. How are you going to close that gap? Well, I'm going to pull that out as getting around and listening to what the people got to say. You know, I've invited Senator Warnock to a debate, which he's hiding behind the media. He's hiding behind his Twitter account because he don't want the people to see the contrast between himself and myself. I believe in lower taxes. He believes in higher taxes. He believes in putting men in women's sports. Well, Just to be clear, he believes in higher taxes on the wealthy. Big difference. I don't. Right now, he believes in people paying someone else's debt. Well, I don't. Well, the people need to see the contrast between, between the two of us. And he need to quit hiding and come out and let the people see that there's a difference between Senator Warnock and Herschel Walker. Well, uh, we would love to see that debate, and we'd be happy to host that debate um, for the two of you. And as I said, we've got an open invitation for him to come here and uh, tell his side as well. Herschel Walker, thank you very much. Good to have you with us today, sir. Hey, we'll be following your race closely. Hey, thank you, and I want to I want to encourage everyone to go to TeamHerschel.com and whatever you can do to help to put me in that seat to represent Georgia and to represent America, because I'm going to fight for for us all and bring us together. All right, Herschel Walker, thank you very much, sir. Good to see you. Hey, Sean Han. I've got to tell you, I feel bad attacking any African American who's seeking higher office. Personally, my position has always been that I'd like to see more black women running for office, frankly, because they seem to be the only ones who have their heads screwed on straight. One person, though, who also has his head screwed on straight, though, is Raphael Warnock who also, of course, happens to be black. Now, I'm not going to cast any aspersions here, but the only thing I can say about this is with Republicans making noise about, oh, affirmative action and how horrible it is, and how people shouldn't be recruited based upon solely the color of their skin, even when they're not qualified for office. Well, when we see how Herschel Walker has behaved in this election, it makes you wonder, just what makes you think that he was the one that Republicans, including Donald Trump, were working so hard to recruit for this campaign? Hmm, I wonder. So much for affirmative action, eh? Well, if you want to see another video about how the Republicans have been messing up in Georgia, check out this one I did a little while ago. I'm actually feeling pretty good about that Senate race. Hopefully, Senator Warnock will stay on track and bring this race home. Personally, I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'll see you then. In the meantime, Let's hope for continued progress. Thank you.